I made a script for Illustrator that colors items on a layer. For that video, see the link in the description. That script includes an option to change overprint, but only a selected layer. I decided to make another script that changes overprint, but more than just one layer. Change overprint. I'll show the script in InDesign on Windows. It works the same on Mac OS. There's also a version of the script for Illustrator. It also works the same either Mac OS or Windows. This script works on an open document. To begin, this example has all overprints disabled. To run the script, open the scripts panel. I already have the script installed in InDesign. For help adding scripts to InDesign, See the link in the description for another video that shows the steps. In the list, select the script, Change Overprint in Design. Double click to run it. The first choice is what to change all, selected, or a layer. Choose the layer in the list. I'll do the selected element to start. Next is whether to change fill, or stroke, or both. For either, you can turn overprint on or off. I'll turn on both. And you can see both the fill and stroke overprint. But not other elements, just the one selected. Or we can overprint all. There is an alert because some elements have a fill equal to white. The script won't overprint white, because the result would be an invisible element. InDesign doesn't allow this either. I'll run the script again, and turn off all overprinting. And you can see, nothing overprints. Next, we can affect only one layer. I'll choose layer 1, and overprint strokes only and the strokes on layer 1 overprint, but not on layer 2. Download the script for Illustrator or InDesign and give it a try. Links are in the description. Like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe so you're notified of future videos. Also, leave a comment. I always like to hear from you. All feedback is welcome. There are plenty of other scripts and videos for them. Click the video or playlist on screen for more. Thank you for watching.